Hello again, it's Brian from excel-ballwidgets.com. Um, we just had a post on the forum yesterday from Darren, who's saying, thank you for your support with the initial setup issues I had. I now have trouble with the thermometer. Um, I couldn't find a tutorial on YouTube explaining this. Any chance of another tutorial? Well, you're absolutely right, Darren. I was looking on our YouTube channel, and we haven't posted a, uh, a video on setting up the thermo thermometer, so let's do it now for you. Um, the first thing we need is a blank um, workbook into which we're going to set up a new um, um, a new dashboard that incorporates the, uh, the thermometer widget. Um, now, as always, um, as we explain on the um, on the uh, the uh, in the knowledge base section on the excel widgetscom website, uh, what we like to do is to set up three tabs um, on the workbook. The first one is um, my dashboard. Well, the first one contains the actual dashboard. Um, you know, normally I like to set it up with uh, on a on a grid of um, uh, four by five or four by three if you want um, the uh, the widgets to be set up uh, portrait or landscape. The second tab you're going to set up here, I'm doing it down the bottom here, um, is the configuration data. So my configuration configuration page, um, which basically holds the numbers, um, the the raw data that will feed the 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 widgets on the my dashboard tab. So it's almost like a copy of your dashboard, but it's um it's it's very crude. Um it's very sort of rough. Um and the last one is the my calculations, my calculations uh, page um which holds um, which carries out all of the calcul uh, calculations that drives things like the 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 needles and the traffic lights and, and things like that. Um, okay, so let's quickly open the 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 latest version of the unlocked um, excel-widgets.com uh, template, um, and the widget we're going to be playing around with today. If we just scroll down, um, that's the circular dial. Um, is this one the thermometer widget? So the first thing to do is to select. Um, I like to select the edge. Um, of the widget. This is a group of, of, of Excel, common Excel objects that are being grouped together um, to create this widget. So it's a group of um, text boxes and shapes um, and graph objects um, and background objects. So select it by clicking the, the right hand edge or left hand edge. Um, Control C. We go to this new workbook we've just created. I'm going to paste it, Control V, into um, uh, cell B2. Um, so there's the the, the first widget, uh, perhaps the first of many, um, on our dashboard. Now, it's interesting. It's interesting to look at this widget. So if I just go on the ribbon, if I go home, right down to the end, find and select, right down to the last uh, option, selection pane at the bottom. Um, you'll see this um, navigator, should we call it, opens up on the right, um, which shows all of the different Excel objects, shape objects, and graph objects that make up this um, this object here on the left. What I could do is I could right-click, and I could go down to Group, Ungroup, Group, and there you can see all of those different all of those different objects. I'm just going to hit Control Z and undo that now. Or I can select them on the right hand side. So for example, this is the main text um, text box shape. Um, the next one is the 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 main percentage value um, for the for the for the graph. You'll notice if I go down here, the thermometer bulb circle is is just a is just a circle a circle shape. I'm going to grab it here and and move it across. Um, it's just, a, it's just a red circle. There we go. Um, if you look at the uh, thermometer mercury chart, just click that now. This is just a very simple. Um, what do we call it? Uh, it's a column column graph. A very simple column graph in Excel. 
um, do control to control Z and just undo what we've done and all of these shapes basically make up the the, the widget when they group together um, okay so let's go across and we'll copy the configuration data that um, that provides values for this particular widget um, so that can be found here on the unlocked version of the Excel dashboard widgets um, uh, okay there we go so we're just I'm pasting that into the configuration page let's just open that up a little bit um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the um, the calculation um, calculation section um, and paste that into the third tab so okay we come down here okay this is the information here we're going to put onto the third tab um, that drives the control V that drives the um, the thermometer um, okay just make this a little bit bigger for you okay so now we need to follow the steps here step one link the yellow cells to the my configuration page so um, let's click the first one you'll notice it's currently linked to the unlocked version of um, a completely different um, spreadsheet here so what we want to do is highlight that hit equals we want to we want the calculations to be based um, on the on the, the the values that we're entering into this new dashboard we're creating so that was the minimum goes into there the maximum click that again that's still linked to a different spreadsheet go back to the configuration page select the maximum press return the actual value press equals go to my configuration page actual value 9.4 and now you'll see that um, everything has been set up now within this calculations page to create um, the different elements of the widget on the on the main dashboard so for example if we type in here our actual value um, is 50% on the my calculations page it says 50% and these are the values over here this this X and Y and up and down these are the values that will be used over on the dashboard to um, to 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 show 50%. Um, currently, these values over here on the dashboard are still linked to the unlocked version of the Excel dashboard widgets.com uh, spreadsheet. Um, so, for example, if I click here, if I click the main value, I just double click it. Um, actually, that one isn't. If I click the, if I click this um, this uh, this chart which shows the level of mercury, you'll notice up here the values are still linked to the um, to the uh, to the external to the external worksheet. Um, okay. Okay. So we've done step two. Um, we've done step one. Sorry. We've linked these yellow cells to the to the my configuration page. Step two is to link the blue cells following this example um, and what do we mean by this example so if I come back if I come back to the to the unlocked version of the dashboard Excel dashboard widget spreadsheet um, you'll notice for example if I click this graph here um, on the original version it's linked here to widget showcase calcs value G9 uh, G69 sorry if I come across here to G69 you'll see that's the value just below the Y so what we need to do is start to link these values on our dashboard um, to um, to the values within the my conf conf configura uh, configuration page. I think the probably the easiest way is just to do it, and um, hopefully you'll uh, you'll see what I'm doing and you'll understand it by seeing it rather than listening to me. Um, if you have any questions um, about this video, just please feel free to get back to us. So I'm just going to do it now. Um, so the first the first is this is this main value text. 
Um, I'm going to press equals there. Go to my configuration page, and it wants to be the same as this 50% value we're putting in. That means any time we change the value here within the configuration for this widget, um, so 22% for example, on the dashboard it'll say 22%. Okay, the next thing we need to change is this value in the um, in the smaller um, in the bulb. Um, now this value in the bulb is formatted a little bit different because it doesn't have the decimal point. Um, so that's actually pulling its values from a, a formatted value over here on the My Calculations page. Um, the next thing we need to do is change this um, this very, very simple uh, column graph. Um, you'll notice it's still linked up here to the external um, uh, uh, worksheet. We just need to, between the commas, just delete that and just come down to the calculations page and link it to this um, to this um, this new uh, dashboard that we're working on. Okay, so now um, everything is linked. Let's link the title. Click the title box to highlight it. Equals. Come over to the configuration page to show the title. This up down arrow, which shows um, a change in a trend, we can come across, highlight, equals, down to the My Calculations page, that up down arrow there. Um, there we go, the widget is all set up. Um, if you go to the My Configuration page, we can change the title. This is Darren's widget. Um, and maybe the value was 95%. Uh, and now, when we come to the dashboard, it says Darren's widget, 95%. Um, the trend has, has increased. Darren, I hope that helps. I hope that answers any of your questions. Um, if you have if you have any more problems, please get back to us. Um, I just want to show you one more thing, um, which is possibly interesting to you. We recently created... Let's just go over here to the... Um, to the forum. We recently created... Um, let's just go to the board index, active topics. Um, let's search these topics from the last two weeks. We recently just designed another thermometer. Um, let's quickly go down. Um, change your colors on a thermometer. Maybe it was that widget. We recently designed another thermometer widget um, for Nuli Kiran. Um, what Nuli Kiran wanted was um, to change the color and and the, um, the 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 color of the bulb and the mercury um, depending on a cutoff value. So if it fell below six percent, let's just I've just downloaded it now. Let's just open it. That's coming from the web, so I need to enable editing. Um, so basically, it does exactly the same thing. Enable editing. Here we go. Exactly the same thing, but if it falls below 6%, it turns red. If it's above 6%, um, it turns green. I'll just show you that now. Um, so if it goes to 5%, for example, um, so you, you're getting a traffic light and a thermometer in the same the same widget. Um, if it goes above 6%, so maybe, let's say, 13, uh, we're back in the green. Here's 86 um, we can change the cutoff value down here to 50%, uh, for example. So if it falls below 50%, now it will turn red. Um, so, so there we go. It's a, it's a, um, an improvement on the thermometer widget that we created. Um, so feel free to take a look at that widget as well. I uh, hope that helps. Um, have a nice day.